Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we'll talk about how to set up and install soft Ether VPN server on Windows Server 2019 in Azure. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, first of all, come to this image or come to this Azure marketplace for this image. Do not worry, I'll put the link in the description of this video. Now, just click on get it now and click on continue and over this image will create our virtual machine. The benefit of using this images is you will get all the necessary things related to your Ether VPN as pre-installed into your Windows Server 2019. So here what we'll do, we'll create a virtual machine. So first of all, click on this create button and here it says create a virtual machine. Choose your subscription and then choose your resource group. I will go with cloud infrastructure services. In your case, you can always create a new one. Then here, you have to give a name to your virtual machine. I'll give it as Ether. Then come down and here you have your region that you can select. Then you have your availability options and your availability zone. You can always select the options as per your liking. For example, we have different regions, availability options, and we have availability zones as well. After that, leave everything as it is. And in terms of image, make sure that you have selected the right one and you are using the right one. Then you can choose the size as per your need and as per your liking. Come down and here you have administrator account. Make sure you choose your username and password and remember it as well because we'll need it when we'll make our connection with our remote desktop. So I'll just confirm my password in here. After that, if you are done with everything, just click on review and create. It will check if everything is okay and then it will launch our virtual machine. We'll wait for it and here it says running final validation. It will take a very few seconds, so we have to be patient. Now we are done with validation, now just click on this create button. And now finally, it will start the process to deploy it and here it says initializing deployment. So let's wait for it. Here it is and here it again says deployment is in progress. This is the final step and then we'll be able to use our virtual machine. So let's wait for it. The deployment is complete. Now click on go to resource. So here we are and now we are ready to connect to our remote desktop. We have two ways. First one is copy this public IP address and look for remote desktop connection in your windows. It will open something like this. Paste the IP address that you have copied. Click on connect and now it will ask you about your username. I'll write here ether and in terms of password, I'll write the password that I have set earlier. Hit enter. It will prompt you with something like this. Do not worry, click on yes. And it means we are ready to have our connection with our remote desktop. Now it will open our Windows Server 2019 as you can see. So now from here, just click on soft ether VPN server manager file. And from here, we are ready to use it. From there, click on new settings. And from here, we have to name it. You can name your settings anything. I'll name it as soft ether. Now in order to use your host name, go back to the virtual machine that you have created. And from here, copy the IP address. This is the IP address. I'll just copy it and then I'll paste it in here. After that, here we have our port number. Go with 443 and in case if it doesn't work, go with 3389. I'll go with 443 and then I'll move ahead. After that, just click on OK and now select your settings and then click on connect. Here we have to set a new password. So I'll just have a new password in here. I'll confirm that password and I'll click on OK. It says password has been changed and it will show you something like this. Now, here we have different options. We can go with remote access VPN server. Well, as the name suggests, with this feature, the client computers in our remote location will be able to access our existing Ethernet segments. And then with side-to-side -side VPN server, as the name says, with this option, the VPN configuration to the connection between two or more remote Ethernet will be possible. And down here, we have one more option. I'll show you that how you can go with remote access VPN server and I'll put the link in the description about an article that you can follow to do all of these things. You can go for site to site. You can go for other advanced configuration of VPN as well. Now click on next, click on yes. And here you have your virtual hub name. 
I'll go with the default one and here you have other things that you can perform. So for example, we have dynamic host name, we have current status and many other things. And if you see here, here it says status not connected. Just click on enable VPN Azure and here it says status is connected. It means it is working now. Just click on OK and we are good to go. From here, what we need to do, we need to set the local bridge. Just scroll down and click on Ether2. After that, click on close. And now we are good to go. And now we can create different users in here and we can perform different other things. So we are done with this one. And that also brings us to the end of this video. If you have anything to ask, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget to check out the page for step-by-step -step guide on how to set up and install soft Ether VPN server on Windows Server 2019 in Azure. And don't forget to check image on Marketplace as well. Links are given in the description. And if this video was of any help to you, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll get back to you in the next video.